Yep. Yeah. Or you know, just hand uh, hand things. I can show you one with uh, the goal post. Actually, Tim, you want to just stand on a side here? Okay. I need another demo. Like this. So now her legs, nothing can be helping her. It's only hands. So she can't knock the ball down in this position. Just work on catching the ball up front and bringing it in. All right. So that way she gets used to her hands. But if she, you do have a keeper, that's a good point. If you do have a keeper that just is not confident in the hands and they like to knock things down, then you got to start working on technique on that piece as well. Sometimes you got to modify your training methods to fit what your keepers are doing. So if you got a knocker downer, make sure when Tim throws me the ball, nothing, you know, we're not pointing up, we're not even pointing out. What we're doing now is we're trying to point the ball so at least it's dropping down in front of us. So that way at least we can manage our, uh, our rebounds. But if all must, you know, get rid of that as much as possible. Just get those hands nice and comfortable for uh, for that purpose. So is she doing that probably because she's having trouble grabbing it? It's think? usually more, more times than not. It's usually the confidence in the hands, right? <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't have confidence in her hands, so she does that knockdown a lot. But what does happen? She's done technically. She's figured it out. She knows that she's got to get the hands over the ball a little bit, so that way when she is knocking it down, it's going to be dropping down in front of her. But she's given up so many goals by letting that ball. See, that's the, that's the is problem. it like the rebound factor? Basically? Yeah. Well, now the ball's on the ground. Now you've got you know two beasts coming at you. Yeah. Are you going to feel very comfortable putting your face down there? Yeah. That's when yeah, they that's, get hurt. That's, the that's when they get hurt. So just being able to catch the ball and being able to manage the ball in your hands allows them to continue to play you know long throughout the day. It would hit here. It would drop. She would much rather whack it out of bounds or kick it, and she didn't have much of a leg either. So then she'd just kick it and go back out to the 18, and they'd lose possession in the 18. So it happens even at some higher levels. One thing I want to also bring up is when we were helping you, when we caught it, it was noisy. When you caught it, it was quiet. Are you using your fingertips more, or your fingers more, or what? Yeah, it's a combination of fingertips. So when Tim brings it in, it's more fingertips up here, and Better then it's gloves. also... Yeah, I wouldn't even say it's a better glove. But, uh, it's the just the yeah. give factor. You know, I'm used to. I mean, he can hit a ball. Go ahead and take a, a, a full volley. Uh, off your hands, though, so you know where it's going. There you go. Ready? Drop ball. Okay. But you really, you know, hit it. You know, I can kind of get it out there, and even at that point, I was still able to bring it in a little bit. It's just a timing piece that uh, that comes in. I mean, that one kind of surprised me. It's back over here a little bit still fingertips and then I brought it out a little bit.